How to type web and email addresses without live links. Hey everyone, Deborah here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn off the thing that makes a URL that you type turn into an active live hyperlink. I know most of the time when you're typing a hyperlink into a document, uh, when you press the spacebar key, or press enter after you type it, it automatically comes live. It, be, it turns blue and it has an underline and it's clickable. Well, that's great, but sometimes you want to type those kinds of addresses into a document, but you don't want them to turn into live blue hyperlinks. You just want them to stay plain text. Well, I'm going to show you an easy way to make that work for you. Okay, on my page I have nothing. I'm going to go ahead and type a fake URL. Okay, and when you do, you know, when you type it with www or .com, uh, especially with .com, and then press the spacebar key, it automatically turns blue and has this underline, and it's clickable. Of course, this particular one, I just made it up. I hope it doesn't go anywhere live, <laughs> but um, in any case, I'm going to show you how to make this stop so that when you do this typing, it just stays plain text. Okay, I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to show you what you have to do. Well, first of all, I want you to know that I'm using a PC computer with Windows 10, and I have Microsoft Word 365 as my software. Uh, of course, this, will, this probably will work in uh, previous incarnations of Word. I don't see why not, but um, in any case, that's what I'm using. So first, you go up to the far upper left-hand corner and you click File. That takes you into what's called the Backstage View. Okay, then what you want to do is click Options. Now in my case, my menu over here on the left-hand side doesn't have options showing. So I just have to click More, and there's the rest of the possible choices. So I'm going to click Options. Okay, once you have Options open, by the way, um, Word Options, this whole page and all of the different menus that it has, this is how you set up Word to work the way you want it to work. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to the Proofing page next. So I'm going to click Proofing. Then I'm going to click Autocorrect Options. Now this is where it gets interesting. There are several tabs across the top here that you can pick from. The one you want, there are actually two you have to work with. One of them is this one, Auto Format as you type. So I'm going to click that, and this is where you want to go. Internet and network paths with hyperlinks. Okay, you want to remove the check mark from that box. All right, then before you click OK, you want to go to the next tab over, Auto Formats. You want to cover both of the Auto Format tabs. And in the regular Auto Format tab, you also want to do the same thing, Internet and Network Paths with Hyperlinks. You look for that, and you remove the check mark. Then you click OK, which will uh, put into effect both of the fixes that you just did. Then you click OK a second time down here in the, up, in the lower right. And now watch what happens when I type the exact same text. And I'm going to press my spacebar key, and voila, there is no live active hyperlink anymore. I can type an email address, a web page or website address, uh, anything that would automatically be given a live link, and it won't turn live. Now I admit, uh, if you have a document uh, is, that you want to have both in the document, both live links and not live links, I would not suggest doing this procedure. Instead, uh, what I would do is I would uh, do the document, create the document, let the, all the live links happen, then go, go back through the document, and in any live link you see, 
that you don't want it to be a live hyperlink, right on or ha you know place your mouse right on top of it, anywhere on top of it, and right click, click the right hand button on your mouse, get that shortcut menu open, and just go right here and select remove hyperlink. That's probably f a lot faster than going back into the backstage view and options and auto format and doing all of that. And so that's how you do it.